lights out. Everybody. I've done it, Mitch. Yeah, quit beefing. You going soft? Soft? No. No, of course not. The crook and the old guy tonight they didn't need to. They didn't need to. He saw us, didn't he? He could turn us in at the description, couldn't he? Ah, uh, he'd never be able to describe us. It was too dark. Ah, uh, well, Mitch Rosinski's don't take chances, see? Anyhow, you case the joint. Why didn't you spot the burglar alarms on that safe? The safe ain't my racket, Mitch. You're the Peterman. <laughs> Knives is your racket, eh, Cokey? Sleep him in the guy's ribs from the back, huh? Listen, listen. We're talking about the cooking we've done. It gives me the chills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, it's, it's just nerves. This rotten fog shut me down. Say, you sure you know where you're going? Of course I know. I can find it fog or no fog. We're almost there. Are you sure we're, we're going to be safe in this joint? Crops will never find us. It's old warehouse. Ain't been used for years. Well, I don't. I hope you're right. Ain't I always right? Yeah, yeah. You don't get sore. Well, how much farther? Pretty soon. We're almost there. Hey, hey what's that? <laughs> Listen. Listen, bit. It sounds like little hooks. Uh, well, it's not. And so many people that live around here keep goats. It's probably one of them. Yes. Yes. That thing it went right past me. Hey, uh, what's getting into you? But, Mitch, I, I felt something. I tell you, I did. But there wasn't anything there. Little hooks close to me. But there ain't nothing there to see. Listen, Cocky, in a minute, I'm going to let you have it. You're squealing like a rat. That's honest. I ain't squealing. I'm scared. There's, there's something for me. Yeah, that killing we did, huh? Is that scaring you? No, no, no. Maybe it's... Uh, it's just this lousy fog. I don't know. Well, don't get nerves now. we got to get away to worry about. Well, let's get off the street. Let's get up away from the river. Get with us some light. I ought to clip you, Corky. This fog was made to water. Perfect getaway. And four grand in our keys. I know, I know, Mitch. But, but little hoofs shouldn't run past the guy. But nothing to make him run. Ah, sure. Hey, here's the block. Sure, look now in this building. We'll come to a bunch of doors close together. I don't like the looks of this layout. Yeah, what do you want, Eric? Here come your doors. Which one do we crack? Wait, I got a figure I can't remember. I think it was the third. Yeah, I know it was. Right. The third door. Huh. Who are you? Does that matter? Listen, guy, you start talking. Who are you? Where do you pop off from? That is not important. You are called Mitch Rosinski. And you are Cookie Donadetti. Listen, brother, you're talking out of turn. So? But we have much in common to talk about. Come on, Mitch. Let's scram. I don't like this guy's looks. Trap down, you. Listen, guy, talk fast. Now, who are you? I. That is not important. Now, suffice to say that I have come to meet you, to take you where the police will never find you. Mitch, Mitch, I don't like this guy's Shut looks. Shut up, Rap. No. Oh, you can hide us out, huh? No one will ever find you. Rest assured. It sounds like you've got something there, mister. So now that we know you're on the level. Are there not two of you to my one? Can it be said that the mighty big Mitch Rosinski is frightened? Scared? Me? Oh, I ain't scared a man of the devil. I have heard that. Interesting. I'm telling you, Mitch, you're making a wrong move. Who's doing this? So how do we get to this hideout of yours? You are about to enter the third door of this building. That will be as good as uh, another. Place. Hey, what are you trying to hand us? We're happy this joint already. Most excellent. Then the door is open. Shall we enter? Mitch, don't tell me there's nothing phony. Look. Hey, listen, what's going on here, fella? I just tried that door and it was locked tight. And now it is open. Let us enter. I ain't going in there. You know, I think this guy's got something on the ball. I think he knows some real tricks. The tricks of our trade, eh, my friend? <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
Maybe we can do a little business together, huh? There is work for both of you. No, no, Mitch. I can, I can see something. Let's not go with this no, guy. Why, this fellow setting us right with his mob. I have reserved prominent places for no, you. No, no, Mitch, cut me out, will you? Yeah, I'm getting sick of your squealing. You get in and I'll lead the way. No, 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 get get yes, get no, no. yes, gladly. Come. With me, my friend. No, no. Uh, let me go back, will you, Mitch? Come on. Here's something for me here. I'm trying yeah, to... Cut it out. Uh, Why, we got a chance to be big shots with smart guy like this. None will be closer to me. I promise you. See, Corky, I got an idea this fellow can do big things for fellas in our racket. You are shrewd, my good friend. I know exactly the things for men like you. Now, listen to that. Now, what do you think? Mitch, I'm scared. Take a good look at this guy. That's all I ask. Look at him close, will you? Aye, look very closely. Want you to remember me. Well, you'll never see a classy little guy. Look at him close, like this swells where that it's class. He looks like big society. Uh, maybe. Me, I don't like him. Hey, what's the matter with you? I ain't never seen you like this before. Hey, wait up, mister. Don't go so far ahead. Hey! Hey, where do you go? Hey, Mitch! Mitch, they're coming! They're coming after you, Cam! It's them hoops! Mister, where are you? Let's get out of here, will you? Hey, Mitch. Mitch, where are you? I'm willing to get out of here, but I can't see in the dark. I'm no cat. Oh, right away. It's here. Here, I got it. Oh, never mind. I got a little flashlight. Much good in this barn. No. no. It is a feeble light. You? Where do you come from? I had not left. Huh? It's him. He's a phony, I tell you. Who are you? Where do you come from? I have always been here, watching your interesting partnership. There's something for him. It's that's my uh, I think maybe you're right, Corky. Hear me out. Did you not know that I have long considered myself a silent partner in your enterprises? What do you mean? This hour shall see my partnership become active... I have joined you, my very dear friend. No. No, go away from us, will you? Leave us alone. Tell us who you are. I have had many names. What does it matter? What would my name mean to you? Yet, I have told you, we are partners. Tonight, our partnership will be consummated. I will show you how strongly it can be welded. Remember the first job. Say, Jimmy in the window is a cinch for you, ain't it? Yeah, you said something that time. Boy, you're sure going to be glad you teamed with me. We'll make some real dough. Yeah, better be careful on this job, though. Careful of what? This old bird ain't going to give us any trouble. I know, I know, but we got to make him talk. And we can't have a lot of racket. Uh, we can find his role, all right. Probably he hides it in his mouth. No, I went through this joint when he was out the other day. Couldn't find a thing. So you called me in, eh? Smart boy. <clears throat> Here we go. Quiet. When we get in, I'll jump him. What is his bed? In his room? Just to the right of the window. There's only one room in the shack. Okay, come on. Who's there? Who's there? Shut up or I strangle you. Ah, that a boy, Mitch. Now, listen, guy. I'm going to let loose of you, but remember when you body you and you're dead, and remember, now. <coughs> Who are you? What do you want? What do you think we want? Corky, snap on your flesh. Oh, Nick, Nick, somebody will spot us. Where are you in the country? Snap it on. I can't do my best work unless I can see. Okay, there you are. Yeah, nice well. Now, you, where do you keep it? Keep what? Don't give me that. You know what I mean. Where do you keep your roll, your door, your money? Money? I have no money. I'm a poor old guy. <laughs> You're a poor old fool. Ah, that's it, Mitch. Let him have it. Come on, guy. Where's the door? Honest. Honest, I have no money. Not a penny. Okay, mister. We ain't got all night. Corky. Yeah, Mitch. What do you want? You brought along some big needles, didn't you? <laughs> you know me, Mitch. Sure, I did. Okay, turn on that gas plate over there and heat them up. This guy needs working on. Come on right up. Please. Please, I'm telling the truth. I haven't any money. Not to Cut that out. Everybody around here knows you've got plenty of money hid somewhere else. No, it's a false rumor. It isn't true. I swear it. Here's the needle, Mitch. Here, I'll pull them with a pliers. It's red hot. Good. Jimmy. Now, you're going to tell us. Look, honest. I, I ain't got... Oh, yeah? Okay, hold his hand. A hot needle through his fingernail. Hold him. <laughs> Give me that other needle. Grab him, Cocky. Oh, no. No. Oh, please. Please. I'll 
Oh. <laughs> and I thought he'd come around. Sure, they all talk. All right, Jack Quick, where is it? Right there. Behind that picture. You hold him, Corky, till I see. Oh. Oh. Hey, here it oh. is, pal. That's the stuff. What do I do now? Well, oh. he knows what we look like. Got a knife? Sure. Okay, Corky. You know how. Oh, please. Please, don't kill me. Don't. Ah, yes. That was a splendid beginning to our partnership. A very well-handled job and profitable for you, wasn't it? Who told you that? How do you know about that job? How do I know? But I was there. I watched you. Mitch, I'm scrambling out of here. I'm going to run. No. No, my friend. You will not run. Instead, we will look at more of our partnership records. We must have a full accounting. That's... That's... I'm, I'm scared to death. Hey, Master, why are you here all this? I know so many things. Why, don't you remember... Uh, cut out that racket. You ain't hurt. Oh, please. Please let me go. I've never done anything to you. Of <laughs> course you haven't. Listen, sister. We didn't snatch you because we liked your pretty face, see? We want dough. Get it? Dough. Oh, but my father will pay well. Oh, if only he'll let me go. Please, I know he'll pay. I'll see that he's ah, done. nuts. When we get the money from your old man, we'll let you go. And not till we do get it. <laughs> I promise you that you'll get it. Shut up. That you, Mitch? Yes. Yeah. Where are you? Did you get it? You got it. Nothing. The dirty crooks crossed us off. What do you mean? I went to the spot, the vacant lot, you know. Yeah? I got up on the garage roof across the street. Nobody figures me to be up there, so I get good look around. Come on, come on. So what do you think? The place is lousy with coppers. Uh, I tell you, I'll break that. You know... You know, I thought the guy had kicked through without a squat. Don't worry. When I get through, he will. Yeah, yeah, but this dame, she's awful dangerous to keep around long. We're hotter than a fire truck right now. just speed things up a little. Well, I say, let's get this. Let's knock off the babe and beat it before the coppers catch up with Not us. Not me. I got better idea. Hey, you. What? What do you want? Your old man tipped the police. What? I can't do that. I, I wrote them no. When you made me do it. Yeah, but it didn't work. We have to show your old man we mean business. What are you going to do? You'll see. Cocky, you got that big knife of yours? Sure. What are you going to do? Send a little present to this babe's father. Hold her left hand, Cocky. Oh, don't. Please, let go. Oh, what are you going to do? Guess what? I'm going to send one of those pretty fingers to your old man. Oh, no. No. Oh, for the love of mercy. Give me a hand. Hold her on, Cokie. Hey, what happened to her? Yeah, she's just passed out. There we are. That'll make the old buzzard think. Hey, Mitch. That ring on that finger. Let's keep it. It's what we'll do. Nothing doing. Her old man will never recognize the finger without the babe on the other end of it. But he will recognize that ring. You know we're not fooling now. Ah, yes. You handled that job very well, my friends. And when you sent the finger, no time was lost in paying you off. Remember? You made a neat sum. And what a splendid joke on the father of the girl. <laughs> She was already dead when he paid you. We didn't croak that damn. That was accident. We didn't. Of course you didn't. But blood poisoning is a fine assistant, isn't it? Ah, but we have still another of our partnership activities to be reviewed. There. Ah, there you displayed an amazing ingenuity. It was a bakery, remember? A small bakery. One man ran it. A stolid old German. Too stolid 
remember. But you beat him. He got nothing for his stuffs. Let it hold you. Give us a pattern, will you? Yes, why not? Uh, you're asking for it, huh? Uh, Skipper, let's get going on this safe. Yeah, but I'd like to give this mug the works. I know, I know, but there's 25 grand in that safe. Unless the new pa- newspapers are kidding us. Uh, let's get it, come Think on. Think we won't? What is this hope? Huh? Well, don't ask me. I don't pack your rig. Hey, Coffee, we ain't got the beat of nitro. How are we going to blow that safe? Oh, Mets, don't tell me we're stuck now. No, we ain't stuck. Let's go talk to our friend. Hey, you. We ain't got time to fool with that. Try up. I know what I'm doing. Hey, honey, we want the combination to that safe, and quick. What for? That safe is empty. Uh, what are you handing me? Listen, we'll read the papers. You had a ticket on a horse that ran very many sweepstakes, and they paid off 25 Gs. You cast your check and put the door in that safe. We saw it in the papers. Now, what do you say? I said to you, why don't? Ah, give it to a mess. Uh, you're tough guy, huh? Look, do you give us that combination, or do we go to work on you? I don't talk. Say, you've been making donuts, huh? Frying them in that oil, huh? I do not talk to you. I... No, that grease looks pretty hot. It's bubbling. Do we get the combination, or do I drop a little of this grease on your neck? Ah, you do not scare me. Scare you? Hey, you look, I'm not trying to scare you. Cookie, here, stretch this guy out on the table. He thinks I'm kidding. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be an awful surprise. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Give me a hand, mister. Come on, this guy's heavy. Uh, Hurry. Someday yeah. for this, you are, sir. Yeah, we'll answer when we're spending your door. Hold his head over here, Ah, uh, don't stall. Let him have a dipper full in the face. Yeah, uh, that ain't polite, Corky. Let's show the gent how we're going to entertain him. Here, you look. Look at that, scalding hot. Nice, huh? How'd you like some of that on the back of your neck, huh? You gonna give us the combo? I give you nothing. Oh, well, here, let me get a dipper of this stuff. Now, let's just drop a few little drops on your neck like this. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> to loosen up your tongue, sort of oil it, you might say. <laughs> well, how about doing a little chattering? Or should we yes. stick your face in it? Dying. Dying, I... I tell you nothing. Why don't you? Ah, give him the works, mister. Yes, Kurt. All right, mister. Now, let's do this slow, and any time you want to quit, just say so. Dying. I don't talk. I don't talk. Dying. Dying. Okay, then. Let's get a little taste of this hot grease. When we do this slow, see? We push down your bull head. Down. Down. Little more... Going to get a taste of that grease soon. Ah, don't do it. Don't do it. I've got it. He will not do it. Oh, you ready to give us that combination, huh? How about it? Hey, Matt. It was too rough. Look, the guy can't talk. He, he's fried. He oh. can't talk? What about that dirt? That rat? He should have talked before I shot his face in that stuff. It's too late now. Yeah, too late. And he can't give us that combo. He can't talk. But it ain't too late for this guy to find out you can't cross up Mitchell Rosinski. I'll show him. I'll show him. Get out of the way. Let me get a shoulder under that guy. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? This guy was so anxious to pry. Okay, so he'll pry. Open that oven door. This will teach you to cross me. Get in there. Yeah, you can't make it, pal. Can't, huh? I will make it. Hey, what? You were, you were shoving too hard, Mitch. I guess you busted his neck. Huh? I guess I did. Gee, fella, you uh, got to watch out for them big bits of yours. You're pretty strong. Uh, well, what's the difference? We'd have had to croak him anyway. He's seen us. He'd remember what we look like. Sure, sure. Only, only we ain't gonna get that twenty-five now. Um, let's get out of here. Hey. Hey, Mips, look. That safe ain't locked. Look, open just a little. Sure enough. Oh, 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 that's good one. Ah, uh, let me add it. <laughs> there it is, Mips. It works. And some more cash, too. Ah, boy, we're in the dough. Sure we are. <laughs> that's good girl. Okay. You have a donut, Cokie. <laughs> Very 
unusual piece of work. Novel and complete. I congratulate you both. Uh, you know all these things. Who told you? I was there, my friend. Haven't I assured you yet that I am your silent partner in all these little affairs? Uh, Mitch, this guy's lying. We never saw anyone on our jobs. It is not difficult for me to make myself yes, inconspicuous. Mister, I think Corky was right. There's something funny about you. I'm beginning to feel it, too. On the contrary, you will find that I am very uh, genuine. You must come with me. You will meet your friends, many of them. Mitch, Mitch, we don't want to join up with this guy's mom. Uh, I don't know. He says we got friends in his crowd. <laughs> My home is full of your acquaintances, and many more will soon be there. To keep you company. Is this on a level? To be sure. We are not without a certain honor. Eh, my fr friends? Tell me one guy you got with you that I know. You once had a brother. Or have you forgotten, Koki? You mean Lefty? Oh, no. No, Lefty ain't with you. No. No, on account of Lefty's... Yes? Well... Well, Lefty ain't with you, that's all. I did not know you had a brother, Koki. Oh, I haven't. Koki and his brother quarreled, Mitz, over the spoils of a little job. There was nothing for Koki to do but use his knife. How, how did you know that? It is my business to know these things. All right, then. If I croak Lefty, how is he in your mob? You disbelieve? Very well. You will meet him soon. I don't know. I can't figure this out, but I don't think I like it. Come. We will seal our bargain. You will join me. I have places ready for both of you, so that you can join me and pay me my due. What do you mean, pay you? Have we not had a partnership? And until now, I have not shared in the spoils. I don't get it. What do you mean? Oh, Mitch, we shouldn't have come here. I, I tell you, we shouldn't have. Come. We close our bargain. My hand. Take it to bind our pact. Come. Take my hand and place it on your heart. Mitch, Mitch, he ain't a monster. Miss, look, look at that face. Why did I see it? Miss, his hand, like fire, like flame. Who, who are you? Do you have any doubts? I am Belzebub, or a Baden, or Belial, what you will. Lucifer, if it pleases you, your partner. My friends, your partner in the unholiest of your enterprises. No, no, there ain't no such thing. No, no I'm leaving. Let me go. Let you, me go. You cannot leave here. From here, there is no leaving. And you have not yet met your friends. Your brother, Koki, he'll be glad to see you. Your erstwhile partner, Mitz. Kano was his name. The marks of your huge hands are still on his throat. No, no, that ain't so. I didn't croak him. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. He knows, though. Oh, bring me my light. My dancing light. The light that flames and sears. Here are two black souls, coals for our fires. Two hearts to redden the flames of inferno. Who? Oh, the master calls. The king of the dark angels. They welcome you. My cohorts and minions, see how quickly they answer. Listen. Ah, yes, they welcome you, my partners. Indeed, you are welcome. What is it? We're dreaming. Sure, sure, that's what we're dreaming. Corky, Corky, look, it's red. All around us, look. He lies dancing. Corky, what is it? What is it? The flames. The flames of hell. The flames of hell. Yeah, I know. You I are know. most welcome, my partners. You are accepted into our confraternity. The confraternity of blood and blackness. Of souls damned to eternal fires. Come. Come, my friends. Hear my voice and heed it. Come. Come. Yes. Ah, yes. Willingly you come. Come with me into the depths 
where the flames are hottest. Come where you will be consumed entirely, and yet will never be consumed. First your hearts, red for the flames, then your night-black souls, fuel of the finest, fire of the finest. <laughs> Sure now, Rookie, is the river bait getting too tough for you already now, huh? Uh, well, no, sir. I'm sorry to call you, Sergeant, but I didn't know what else to do. Ah, that's all right, Nolan, me boy. I'd rather you'd call me than chance of a mistake. Now, what is it? Well, a bum I picked up. Hysterical, babbling over a crazy story about... Where is he? The squad men took him in. He was raving. Drunk. Delirium treatment, huh? No. No, I don't think so. Uh, let me show you. It's right down here. Yeah. Where are we going? Oh, right here, this old warehouse. He was sleeping on the loading platform. Said he was waked by a, by a bright red glow. Yeah? Go on. He said he looked in the window and... Well, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but... But he said he saw the devil. Huh? Yes, I know. That's crazy, but... Well, here's the door to the warehouse. Do they all go to the old warehouse? Uh, we take the third door. I wonder how the doors in back are. This ain't been open for months. Well, you can see that. Yeah, the back doors are the same. There are no windows. This loft was used for dead storage. Well, that red glow might have been a fire. Let's take a quick gander through the place anyway here. Have you got a pass key? Oh, yes. Yes, I have one, Sergeant. Wait a minute. Careful now, lad. What's over there? Looks like old furniture. Let's take a peek at it. Turn your flashlight on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, careful of them loose boards. No, no. You notice a peculiar odor. Ah. What is it? Well, it's kind of creepy, what with this devil business and all. That smells like burning sulfur. Well, I didn't fall for that devil business, Tarzan, but I did figure something was... Look, look. Two of them. Come on. They're dead. Sure they are. And man, look at the hole scooped in the, out of their chests. Claw marks, too. Look Claw like marks, but... but... But, Sergeant, the flesh around the wound is burned and it's scorched. That's devil's work. I see it, Nolan. It looks like like a huge flame and claw reached out and scooped the hearts out of them. Sounds like you almost believe this devil's business, Sergeant. I ain't saying, lad. But look here. Maybe you can explain them marks in the dust there on the floor. Where? Right there. Those prints were made by hoofs. Cloven hoofs. Maybe you were right, lad. Maybe it is the devil's work. Devil's Dew, this evening's Lights Out drama, was adapted from the idea which won first prize in the Chicago American Lights Out contest. The idea was submitted by Fred N. France, and the adaptation was made by Hobart Donovan. Devil's Dew was produced by Wynn Wright. This is the National Broadcasting Company.